Hey everybody, Brian Heil here. I'm here with Kevin Hornick uh, out at Elysium Tennis in Plain City. Today we're going to talk about uh, when's the proper time to look to change directions during a point. Kevin? So, as we watch TV or we practice, a lot of our practice is us rallying either forehands cross court or backhands cross court. Probably the most common drill in tennis, cross court rallies. And there's a reason. That's the shot that we are hitting the most. Whenever you're hitting the ball back in the direction that it's coming from, it is your least risk of missing the shot. So we get in these cross-court rallies. It's the furthest distance to hit into. It's the lowest part of the net. If we hit a ball late, we're still going to be safe because it's going to stay in the court. So when do we change the direction? When do we go down the line? Yeah, I think uh, a good time to look, a couple times to look into changing directions, uh, especially early in the point if your opponent maybe is a good ball striker when they're stationary, but they're not really mobile, they're not too fast. So once I drive that first ball cross court, I could play early in the point, even if I wouldn't typically uh, change directions early, I might want to bring that mobility or lack of mobility, uh, make it relevant in the point and go down the line. Another time would be is if I get a short ball in the service box where I can step into the court and drive an offensive shot to the corner down the line. That would be a, another time. And then maybe lastly is if I get any opponent past the single sideline where they're completely off the court, or if you're playing doubles, in the green off the court, then to space down the line would be a good shot, good time to hit it. So these are shots we're not really looking to win the point outright. If the opponent would get to the next ball, you're looking for the easiest shot. So it would turn into sort of a transition shot, yes. And then so the you, next ball, you could win the point. So you're making your opponent run to create an easier shot for yourself. Yes, so as the matchup, uh, as it pertains to the matchup, I might change directions and go down the line to create a better matchup for me. So if I'm hitting a cross-court rally forehand-wise with my opponent, and that's not a favorable matchup for me, I could play the first ball down the line and create a backhand cross-court rally which gives me a better chance or a better matchup to win that point. So what are the couple of things that you could take out of this? Well, I would make sure that you, there's time and a place to hit every single shot. And as far as changing directions, there needs to be a reason that you're doing it. Whether it's an offensive opportunity that is given to you, you're trying to make mobility into an, a, an issue, you have your opponent off the court, or if you're trying to create a matchup that is favorable to you. So if you're looking for more instruction, we've got a very professional staff out here at Elysium Tennis in Plain City. Plenty of courts, plenty of opportunities. Check out our website and come out and see us.